you know the producers, but have not actually listened to the music from the producers. I uh, I love the producers. Nice. So we're just waiting on John. Yeah, I think so. I think that's uh. Like I said, he's probably at dinner. Okay. Oh, and Kel, to answer your question that you sent me in the chat, um, the <clears throat> the things that would be effective against it uh, would be things like rubber. Oh, so anything with low density, so it'd be harder to just shatter through. Yes. Um, and the thing is, it wouldn't shatter through the through it. It would pass right through because it's radiation. Oh, you're right. Unless it has uh, unless it has some kind of lead lining, it's going right through. Uh, no. Uh, the, the, the thing is, this is not standard radiation. It is neutrino radiation. Neutrino radiation is different from X or gamma ray. Um, and X or gamma radiation. X and gamma radiation are blocked by denser materials such as lead and steel and concrete. However, um, neutrino radiation passes straight through all dense materials. So all metals, concrete, they don't even slow it down. Uh, to, to put things into perspective about neutrino radiation, um, the way that we detect neutrinos from uh, cos out of cosmic radiation is that we have uh, detectors that are facing at the ground to use the Earth as a filter. Oh, okay. Yeah. You need something and, of absurdly high density to be able to detect them. And we can create neutrinos, though. We know how to do it. Uh, we can generate neutrinos. It takes a nuclear reactor to do it currently. Um, I know this for a fact because I'm currently learning the radiographic testing, um, so radiation testing for wells, and all of our current gamma, ra um, gamma radiation um, emitters are neutrino activated. Oh. So we can generate neutrinos, but the first neutrinos that we captured we you're you're right we had to use the entire we had to use the entire planet to slow them down enough to notice them mm -hmm. but now now we generate them in nuclear reactors and then we fire them at things such as cobalt and there's a couple of other things that we that we can shoot it at and then they immediately become um radio they become unstable and radioactive emitting gamma radiation Mm -hmm. uh, that part I didn't know, but yeah. Oh. Yeah. Crap, I forgot to set up my thing correctly on the <coughs> YouTube. But yeah, that's the that's the current stuff that we have with with neutrinos and gamma radiation and all that. Mm -hmm. uh, we're learning how all of it's made now. Uh, we, we're learning the basics about how the stuff is made, and then we're going to move on to how to actually use them. Like now, we learned how they were made. Then today, we started learning safety. And okay. then next week, we're going to learn how to use the, how to how to actually do the X-ray scans and everything. And we learned how neutrinos are the basics of how neutrinos are made, basically where they're made. Um, and that's it. That's all we're going to learn about neutrinos because of the fact that they have no purpose for us so far uh no they have no purpose whatsoever for weld inspectors uh, because yeah. of the fact that the denser materials for some reason are unable to absorb neutrinos and therefore create a varied image of a dense material hmm. it's the it's the less dense materials such as rubber that are able to actually absorb neutrinos Oh, and um, I also know that there's other things like um, uh, there's other ones that uh, there's certain compounds that react with neutrinos in a sort of kind of weird way that mm -hmm. also absorb neutrinos. It's it's weird. Neutrinos are weird. <coughs> but those compounds are probably mostly what chemicals, so they're liquid. Uh, I know that one of them is heavy water will grow bright blue when they when it's hit with neutrinos. 
in some kind of reality. Yeah, and, that... and I also don't know, um, and I think certain elements... Neutrinos are gay. <laughs> <laughs> but that, it would have to be the lighter weight, some of the lighter weight elements, because the heavier elements wouldn't affect them at all. Um, if the heavier elements, if they do, if the heavier elements do respond, then it is the the elements that the neutrinos are able to turn into an ice, yeah. um, such as cobalt and iridium. Mm -hmm. uh, because when you bombard those with neutrinos and extra neutrinos latch onto the nucleus, they um, they become an unstable isotope and start Someone... emitting gamma. Someone yell at me when we're starting, okay? Well, I've already started my live. Okay, well, like when we're starting yeah. the game. Yeah, I'm waiting on John. But... So is 10 times deadlier uh, or 10 times more harmful to organic matter than X or gamma. So it's, so yeah. it's a potential way to literally just cease uh, basically erase a ship's crew in, in Essex and then just kind of function from there. Yeah, um, and then let's say there there are some of those components inside the ship that get, that neutrinos can activate. You can then go through and extract those from the vessel and radiation does, um, contrary to popular belief, does not hang around. Nope. Um, like if you blast a piece of iron or steel with radiation, it, it itself does not become radioactive. Nope. Um, the radiation passes through it and dissipates, and it's gone. So if, if anything was made un, um, into an unstable isotope, it would just be a matter of coming through the vessel, tracking down the radiation sources and removing them, replacing those parts. So it would also be a relatively inexpensive way to get another ship. Uh, I need to also check in on something with Rax real quick. Oh, oh my. Um, Lucian is, is human, right? Yes, Lucian is human. You can ask Calphanius all about Lucian. And for Rax's game yesterday, I'm completely sorry, but when it comes during the day right now, I am, how should I say, prisoner. Mm, yeah. Mm. Yeah, you, you, you didn't miss much, only uh, ridiculous levels of rolling and some mind blows. But don't worry, we'll catch you up when, when you play next. Awkward silence. Really? Okay, so... Oh yeah, uh, the thing that you needed to come up with. Oh, and uh, Kevin, we need to let Nerd know uh, because we need to play, you know, three our dinosaur land together, three of us. Yeah. I kind of miss the three musketeers. Mm -hmm. There's also the fact that it's become relevant to my Monday nights. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You can ask Adrian. So finding. You can ask Adrian. I uh, did pretty well of uh, making shit up on the spot. Hmm. Yeah, I, I kind of put the spotlight right on him, and then he made up a whole bunch of stuff about what kinds of animals to expect in the jungle area. Nice. Yeah, I um, really lost my dinner doing that, but. Hmm. Lost I, dinner or lost out on dinner? No, I almost lost my dinner. Oh, I'm so sorry. Because it was just one of those moments of, oh, fuck, what do I do? I cut him off guard. Nice. No, it's just not nice. That you, you, go. <laughs> well, I was also expecting him to, you know, turn to me and go, okay, so what no one can be expecting in this area? And then I was going to have moral attack, but you just went with it. So I was like, yeah, that all works. <laughs> well, I remember from the area you're talking about, and I remember from the other session. Yep. And then he also, you know, so I just pulled out the giant big book of awesomeness. So, looking you get. Come on in.
I'm going to real quick switch which thing I'm using for Discord. Okay. And we still need to work on my character for Monday Night Nerd. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, we probably should finish that up at some point. So. Yes, technically, some people are level 8, some people are level 7, we all need to be level 8, and we need to finish my gear, and... Yep, yep. More people in. Alright. Switch in my Discord. Okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, and I also found a better avatar hey, for Kalra. Hey, you guys can start here. Can I mute myself? Huh? Uh, yeah, you, you can go and mute yourself if you like. Alright, because I didn't know, because if you guys are going to start in this tab, I don't want to interrupt anything. <laughs> but Kalra, okay. it's hard to interrupt when you're always loving to put insight into everything. Really now? I think I've been pretty silent when spectating Elle's game. Yeah. No, yeah. I was saying when you're not spectating a game. Well, yeah, but that's because my two cents is somewhat valued at that moment. Maybe. Maybe not. I uh, know. I'm a fracking dick and ass. No, but yes. that's... What? I'm gonna switch devices real quick. Okay, cool, cool. Well, so this, my shrink has a nice ass. My shrink has a nice ass. Yeah. Anything else? Oh, she's got curves, but flat chest. What? Is she the correct age group? I don't know how old she is, but she's one of those chicks that likes to wear four to like six inch high heels. That doesn't help. <laughs> no. And she threw off the mentality of a city girl, so that's what threw me off. Went, nope, I'm out. Because she had her makeup done, she had her hair done, her nails were all, didn't even look like they have a speck of dirt underneath them, and she had one of those uh, dress suits on. I'm just like, ugh. Yeah, that's not Okay, I'm here. Okay. He lives. Wanted to make certain I wasn't going to have the same problems I had before. Because mm. <clears throat> I was connected to Discord from my tablet. Ah, okay. Which I remembered that got, that was pretty sporadic before. Pretty so radical man. <laughs> when we last left our heroes, yes, <laughs> well, you yeah. guys were approaching the uh, area where there's a whole bunch of prisoners locked up. You might notice that I went and changed a few things. Well, um, I'm not in the place with the doobly doo yet. Yeah, we're, uh, we're, we're still on the main thing. Uh, so yeah. Switch us. <laughs> And also, yeah, we're like, 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 do your GM magic. There we go. Oh, there. Now it's changing. Yeah, I was originally going to try to do the recap from that other screen. Oh. Well, uh, whatever you want to do. Well, and, and then, well, I was planning that like last week, and then I forgot about it. Ah. Uh, so, and it's a little late, anyways. Nice. Yep. Oh yeah, lots of death and slaughter and <laughs> things that are dead. And there's dead bodies inside the cage. What the hell? Yep, that is one of the things that I changed. Nice. That makes a lot of sense. Not really. Oh god, it's Dave. Run away. There's two of Dave. Oh, He's god. multiplying. Run! Just run! Just run! Oh my god, that's something I could easily do. Throw in three halfling barbarians into the Monday game. <laughs> oh god. 
<laughs> that are all descendants of Dave. Oh God. He per he went. What surprised me, if I remember correctly, Dave did like to get it on pretty funky. Uh, we did find him what strapped to a bed. So far. Well, he was kidnapped for that whole night, so there's that. Well, well still, still, he yeah. had nothing on. Yeah. And he had a big old grin of happiness on his face. Mm. No, that's not the screen that I wanted that to show up on, but it's fine. Aha! The powerful screen. Um, oh, we just killed a shit ton of undead goblins in life. Yep. Cobalt. Cobalt, yeah. right. Yeah, goblin, Thanks. cobalt, same thing. Wait, I yeah. resent that resemblance. <laughs> One of them straight, like, slightly not... more dragonoid. Uh, I'll, I'll get yeah. Alright. And oh, I should probably adjust people's... Oh, I know what I need to do. I need to just turn all of you up. I need to crank you guys all up to 80. Oh, no, 90. Fine. That way you'll actually, you know, come out on things later. So, <laughs> Where uh, oh, there, there actually, should we bother with interactions? I, I don't really think we need to at this point. <laughs> Might as well. I mean, shit. I mean, mathematically All speaking, right. no one's actually going to be watching this while we're live. There is that. So, I am, well, hello and welcome. I am Nerd Dragon 88 the GM of our lovely little group. Yes. Well, hello there. I'm Biz Tax. I am the Cobalt Thief in this particular party. I am Celestial Outsider. I am the uh, Wear Lion Cleric of this group. I'm Met Yeah. I am the um, the Dwarven Druid. I am the wonderful Karath, who also plays Oz. Wait, is that what I'm saying? Yeah, or sick. I have too many things going on in my head right now. Give me that a was little. almost a real intro, guys. <laughs> almost a real <laughs> it intro. It was so Better close. Next time. <laughs> and what can I say? I like screwing up a dwarf and I like to drink people on the table. Plus, my character can out by everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just as long as you can hold on to that coin. I mean, I'm totally not going to try and steal your shit. Goddamn rogues. <laughs> And you never leave, and you never leave, let that damn thief out of sight. Oh, hey, that's all. Oh, but I let thieves out of sight all the damn time. It's a poor decision. It's a poor decision. <laughs> but again, half the time when I'm playing, I'm playing the thief. So mm, this is fair. Yeah, I I need to roll up a barbarian one of these days, man. I'm kind of sick and tired of playing all of it crazy charismatic characters. I want to play the, the dumbass barbarian. But Barbarians are fun. Okay. That's so, uh, last, one moment, guys. Like, where'd you get it out? Though? We killed a bunch of shit. And we're about to talk to some prisoners. Oh god, that freaking spider token. I know. <laughs> I was caught off guard. <laughs> That's horrifying. Once again. Yeah, he's a giant spider. Mm. Horrifying. <laughs> and Alex is um, a smart person who actually um, hid and took cover because Rogue and Squishy. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I didn't Rogue notice all the bodies in the corner before. Yeah, yeah, I, I did that <laughs> while you guys weren't looking between things, uh, so. Got it. That's slightly concerning. Well, I mean, then again, sense. last time I saw it down there, the whole area down below us was totally empty. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, I filled it full of prisoners, and then I removed, like, at least half of the prisoners and put a whole bunch of bodies in the corner. Yeah. It just yeah. slightly <laughs> more than the same number of prisoners that I removed. Uh, like, you had packed that damn cell with, like, freaking packed sardines, man. Mm-hmm. I like how many weird old men are in this bottom corner. Yeah. Yeah. And androgynous male question mark? <laughs> okay, I put in a uh, dancer into Google, and I got the image of that guy, and then I cropped to the image. Okay. Perfect. Whoever he is, he, he, whoever he is, it's he's enough. apparently an awesome dancer. 
He's and, an elf. And he's got like a, a blue sequin shirt on. It's and perfect. like the black it's river dancing tights. Perfect. Also, uh, who the fuck is this? What the oh. fuck? Yeah, okay, that's, that's a token for a character of mine from a completely different game. It, yeah, it's Goop. Yeah, yeah, that apparently what? has completely fallen through, unfortunately. I was having fun in that game. What? Uh, uh, Goop is a humanoid slime person. Yeah. And he has the mentality of, like, a five-year-old. It's amazing. <laughs> He's so he has, he has he some is, intelligence. He just isn't. He like it's better for him to play dumb. Yeah. He he has the innocence. This is just this absurd amount of innocence, and it's awesome. Until he goes crazy and knows all like, you know, I can easily rip your out your heart and eat and feed it to you. Yeah, well, you sell and keep you alive for the entire duration. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going up to the bars, or are we recapping? We should probably recap. Yeah, we should recap. Okay, so <laughs> you guys arrived in this massive city, which I'm currently spacing on the name. I will bring it up, hopefully, on my other screen over here. <laughs> uh, what? Two screens? What's that? Uh, what? Notes? What are notes? <laughs> the, the best thing ever. I know, uh, I'm sorry to actually use them. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. Uh, wait, I think I have okay, it so in my sh okay. It's possible. Oh, no. I, I don't know. think it's a corner of gold box. I've used it before. Wait, so is Guardian? Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, my Google's logged into the wrong Google. False. Yeah, no, I do not have any of that, uh, any of that shit written down. Uh, you know what? I'm going to. And then I'm going to try to. to... Google's being dumb at the moment, so. Fun. Okay. Uh. Do we have everyone? Yes, okay, we have all four characters. Good. Copyright strike! <laughs> yeah, seriously. Uh, what, are, what are you trying to do to me? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that shit like open source now or some shit? Public domain? <laughs> no, it's not! It's not, because the show is still running. Well, yeah, but I mean, I, I feel I, I have a sneaking suspicion. I also have a sneaking uh, suspicion that YouTubers are way more afraid about copyright strikes than they actually need to be. I have gotten away yeah. with some shit. Just saying. Yeah. Okay. Uh, here we go. Quinder. Ah, <clears throat> Quinder. That's right. Because you put it in the doobly-doo in the chat of the- holy crap, that's a lot of rolls. Oh, I don't feel like reading through all the slogs is full. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of red. There we go. Okay. That's a lot so, of red rolls. Yeah, we had a lot of bad rolls. Yeah, we had um, a lot of, like, natural ones all over the place. It was terrifying. The very bottom bit has a lot of greens, though. So, yeah. um... So! So! You guys uh, arrived in Quinder, you guys met up, mm -hmm. and got attacked mm. at a marketplace. By, or there was an attack in the marketplace of kobolds. You guys uh, took a bunch of them down, ended up take, or handing off most of them to the local guard. Mm -hmm. And managed to take one for yourselves. For that we subsequently got killed shortly after. Shh. <laughs> not shortly. Not okay. Shortly. He was with you for that whole first night at at the uh, Adventurers oh, Guild, which is where they went to next. Yeah, on a very very. Got short memberships. 
picked up the quest to go into the mines and clear out the kobold threat to the city. Uh, and then shortly thereafter, the thief did a dumb thing, and the barbarian did not help. <laughs> Yay, bar fights. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, then most of the party followed the kobold through the only route that he knew how to get back to his base, through the sewers, through things to the underwater lake uh, over here. Oh, it's showing things on your screen. Cool. Yep, and then they kind of went up and then they climbed up a cliff, got ambushed, beat the ambush, uh, met up with the uh, uh, Levere again. Yep. Who had taken and the smart route with through the Cobra mines. Yeah. Well, that's the, I suggested that first, but no one wanted to listen to me. My character <laughs> only has a nine intelligence. No, actually, I think it's less than that. I think it's like six. <laughs> she's not Amazing. very smart. Uh, Amazing. Her intelligence is six, yeah. She's not very smart. <laughs> then they decided to travel. She's not uh, that's very dumb, work. but she's not very smart. Yeah, that was the beginning of last session, and, and they went up uh, to an intersection, got ambushed again, only this time they used in their charisma to convert most of them to their side. Yeah. Uh, and our yeah. Splatted, yeah, splatted a kobold and, and made uh, an ashen pile of another. Yeah. Then they went yeah. around, went towards where we these prisoners of... were. Yeah, we, we, we did a lot of converting. That was and fun. then the, the uh, needless to say, the monk went on a gorilla attack. Yeah. <sighs> Bad times were had. By the blood of our enemies. And then there was this massive fight down here with a bunch of undead kobolds mm -hmm. that were uh, uh, special. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, well uh, I was more special because they didn't last long against my fury of gloriness. Yeah, they were pretty squishy, this but they were true. pretty well coordinated. Mm -hmm. This is also true, so they probably have a mind somewhere else. Oh, God this is not where their mind rests. Oh, God damn it. I'm certain. Well, we're going to be looking for a brain cobalt. Wait, can I, can I make a... Would it be in our... Sorry, are you still recapping? Uh, so they, they fought these cobalt things, turned one into ash pile, because... Apparently, holy stuff does stuff to them. Yeah. Um, Good thing we had. Oh yeah, you're a cleric. Uh, you behave like a barbarian. <laughs> I am technically a cleric. Uh, you're a cleric on paper. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Only on paper. <laughs> kind of reminds me of my uh, cleric of uh, Tempest. Oh, fun. Anyway. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Um, so then they, they were headed downward towards where these prisoners are. Yep. And we last left off with them finishing these guys off. Yep. Can I make... Okay. Can I make a... Like, knowledge religion or knowledge arcana to see if... If I can sense where their direction is coming from? Mm. Or just like a straight wisdom check? Well, there's nothing here to actually indicate what direction... Mm -hmm. I mean, these guys were just standing mm -hmm. down here waiting for you to come this way. They were guarding the prisoners. Got it. I, I think what she was saying is where their hive mind might be from, if they have one. Yeah, yeah. If, if they have, like, a telepathic or... A some kind of connection to another entity. I would want to know where that is. And if I couldn't find it, it would obviously mean that they're commanded verbally. I found your old uh, uh, Arcana check, which was a six. Mm, that's fair. Um, fair, my man, fair. However, you are in fact a cleric. Uh, you Straight also wisdom check? check one, but, I think I did. Um... 
It'll be kind of a gut feeling. Type of deal. I will help her. Well, or it's a matter out. of can she like, where, where does she feel that their hive mind is? Yeah. Gotcha. As opposed to a actually divining it, which yeah. would cost a spell. Yeah. Yeah. Which I'm not gonna use. Is this be valuable? Yeah. Uh, However, or a key I'll to make a religion one. check. Another one? Um, yes. Okay. And I'll... Should I try to help her? Well, I, um, think I think we just went over this. I, I think at this point, uh, it would be two completely independent well, things. Yeah. Because you can't really well, help someone else do... I'm going to go ahead 18? and allow him to assist her, which will give her the advantage. 23! Which gives her that 23. Which, there's apparently no rule actually required for doing the assists. Oh, that's amazing. Why Why is 5th oh. edition so good? 5th edition, you're amazing. 5th so edition, good. it has simplified so much. I know. Despite I'm going to go over there and stare at the dwarves on the other side of the grate. Good God. I, I, I stared at them for a moment, then turned sideways. So I'm not staring at them creepily. Oh, <laughs> it's still so sad. Creepily. I'll walk, I'll walk over to the spider and I'll softly pet between its eyeballs. All right, I'm going to rush forward as soon as I see. Is this guy Lucian? Yep. I'm gonna immediately rush up to the damn bars. Are is the thing locked? Oh, what is the resolution of of Lavere's religion check? Yeah. Before I completely overshadow her idea. Because mm -hmm. we all know how well so, that goes. So, there were a little bit of kind of thinking and conversing a little bit with the monk, and mm -hmm. through uh, not like actual proper, it's not like a, a full spell, it'd be kind of like a minor ritual. Mm -hmm. um, you're not exactly certain where they are do you get but a there's, um you don't really get a proper direction either what you do get is that there's two individuals that have the souls of these individuals or have the souls of these kobolds and they are the ones who are in control god oh probably probably fireface and uh or it could just be the two heads because they have two heads. Oh yeah, that's true. And you'll get an image of a pretty decently sized chamber for a brief moment. And uh, uh, some shapes moving around constantly in there. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. I presume the other people of the party are actually doing things while me and the monk are doing that. Yep. Which is where you get back to Rax and that door. Yeah, is the damn door. Locked. I believe you have a set of thieves tools. Yeah, is it locked? It, you know what? No, uh, sure. yeah, I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna pick the lock anyway. I don't care. There might be keys on the tools. guards on the floor. I have done things. Uh, you said roll sleight of hand? No, I said roll thieves tools. Oh, there's... Uh... You can roll that. <gasps> right. Well, I think I can Hey! Yeah. Nice! <laughs> that is a, a pretty nice roll. So yeah. you'll manage to get the uh, uh, first <coughs> out of the three locks. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> I, no, what do you do? All right, as soon as I unlock the first one, I'm going to go, yeah, and then I'm going to see the other two, and then I go, <laughs> Yeah, by the way, the, uh, yeah, the other Dang. locks don't appear until <laughs> after you've done that first one. So, do you want to use that on the upper or the lower lock? 
the upper, the lower lock because I'm short. Okay. So you'll hear that distinctive click sound. And then I'm going to go for the upper lock. <laughs> good oh, thing oh, I don't oh. have disadvantage. <laughs> it's a good thing you don't have disadvantage. However, you didn't quite make the DC of this upper lock. Oh no. Roll me a dex or roll me a, yeah, a dexterity save. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm good. Okay, so that means you take uh, uh, half damage, I believe. Uh, fuckers. Oh. See, this is why my players are afraid of doors. I should have seen my own trap. <laughs> hey, I check. I said check the keys. So you didn't listen. No, because I have an intelligence. <laughs> of I'm dumb. <laughs> <laughs> well, you take one amazing. point of lightning damage. One. Nuts. That's Incredible. Incredible. It tickles. Yeah, it's a static shock. shock. Yeah, you get a little shock and you're like, ah! I, I, I poke the pouch where he sucks the good berries. <laughs> I, I don't really care about the good berries yet. Hey, don't I have like 12 or some shit like that? Yeah. No, I have eight because the other one's expired. That's right. Or... No, you still have twelve. Oh, yeah. Because the other one's Right, because we not. decided it was that the it, they weren't quite... Expired yet. Alright, so I'm gonna uh, try again. Uh, uh. Remember to take your time. <laughs> Hey, I added something in the list that I didn't see on the list that I remember having on my character sheet. Oh. You might want to check the spelling. Okay. Um, that is worse than you rolled before. I'm frustrated. That's why. <laughs> uh, roll me another deck save. How many charges does this freaking dickly thing have? Oh, come on. Oh. I am convinced. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you are very lucky. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! I would rather be lucky than be good. <laughs> wow! All right, uh, I'm going to. I'm going to get frazzled again. I'm going to grab. Um, he's actually gonna. He's gonna come up and, and give you assistance, giving you advantage. I'm going to look over. Oh, Lucian. All right. Yeah. Uh, I was going to look over at the monk and just be all like, "Break this damn thing off." <laughs> Tell her. Take. Relax. Take your time. Fine. All right, but if this. If this damn thing shocks me one more time, that monk and that spider is going to tear this entire damn bar door off. <laughs> hey, 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 scroll down to the right part. Uh, I'm too afraid to look. You have oh, advantage. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Because you have advantage. Good. Because you have advantage, you finally made it. Uh, she still flinches when she hears the. Mmm, <laughs> coffee. Mmm, <laughs> butterscotch. So, you will finally pop that door open. I'm going to take the lock. I'm gonna keep it. As a, as a consolation prize? It, it's built into the door, mine. We can arrange that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, I should have spent the plot point saying that it was the fucking thing. <laughs> I'll still spend a plot, a plot point on that so I can keep that fucking lock. If the DM shall be generous enough to allow me to do so. Yeah, yeah, I'll allow you to pop point it in. Yeah. 
basically you spent a little bit of extra time just fiddling with the, the area around the lock with your tools and just pop the entire works out. Yes. Hey, if you, you can't may not write it, down, remove it. You may not write down one uh, trapped masterful lock DC 25. Nice. <laughs> nice. Oh shit, I needed to roll really high to unlock that yeah. Um. Uh, 25. I just realized that one of those images is Garfield. Looks like Garfield. Yeah, I know. It is. I was thinking that. Oh, uh, what's the dex DC? What's the DC on the trap itself? Oh, that's a 15. Mm. Okay. Is gonna walk, gonna walk over. So this is the one you've been chasing after. Yes. Yes, it is. Nice to meet you. My name's Levere. And she'll stick her hand out <gasps> after the door is open. The, the name. Of my name is Lucia. Is it who I fucking think it is? Who I fucking think it is? Frickin' Brax. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna no, walk over. The most and, sarcasm. I walk over and I say, "Greetings. My name is Ozik, and so this is what the little, uh, what class is yours again, Ransmo? Bro, just call me a thief because I'm a thief. <laughs> no, your species. Oh, cobalt. 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 So you're the horny, freaky little cobalt friend. Got it. <laughs> you keep good company. Uh, she stares daggers into him. If looks could kill, <laughs> roll an intimidation check. <laughs> I will look over and says, "Is that my fault? You like sticking tails up people's, you know?" As a form of torture. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna hiss or whatever it is that spiders do. <laughs> I don't know if they even make a noise. No. If they're large enough, they do. They actually sometimes do. Which I'd say I'm certainly large enough. Yeah. Hearing a tarantula hiss is no joke. <laughs> yeah. I think I've heard a few of this. It's not fun. Alright, can I make this not equipped? Does that lower my. What? Your carry the... weight? I don't think That's horrifying. Ah! It should. All right. Bastards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whatever. So, Adrian, I'm filling in the stats in my in the spider's character sheet. Should I go with the ones off of? Um, should I go with the base attributes out of the um, for the giant spider itself, or should I use mine? It uses your mental stats and its physical stats. Okay. Good, because my mental stats are better. Okay. It'd be kind of weird if you shifted into this other form and then you suddenly became super uh, not smart. Uh, no. Shift, shift this form and only had two intelligence. Not be able to shift yeah. back. <laughs> Actually, yes, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> oh, oh, that would be great. Oh, that'd be the worst curse ever. I want perfect transformation. Sure. <laughs> and now you're stuck. <clears throat> so, a uh, whole bunch of these guys are going to start hoarding around you. Oh, god damn it. What, what kind of state are most of them in? Probably not very terribly much great. Yeah. yeah, I thought so. 
Who is the Garfield? <laughs> what? Agreed. Is that a cat folk? Yes, actually, it is. Knew it. And then there's a dragonborn down here. Yep. That's it. Dragonborn, dragonborn, for your honest one. No. <laughs> Copyrights, no, no, and no. <laughs> Hey, well, the first well, I let the diplomacy people do the diplomacy thing. I just go watch the entrance to this area. That's okay. That's because good. my character, you know, might be good at diplomacy, but the way he smells and looks right now, he wants nothing to do with diplomacy because he doesn't want his street cred ruined. Alright, I'm going to turn back and I'm going to tell all but my personal little friend to, um, <clears throat> to... Uh, turn around and watch our six, and I'm gonna have him come up near me. Cause I want that bastard on a short leaf leash. Hey, look, three people are watching me. How fun! Hi guys. Joy, joy. So All right. Most of the cobalt are making sure that nobody's coming up behind you guys. Yep. That's, that's what I'm doing. Thing to do. yep. So, question. Where did the spider go? I don't feel the greatest. Where did the spider go? Druid. Uh, did you accidentally yeah, delete it? The spider? I Maybe. did not touch it. I was messing oh, with the character sheet. <laughs> oh, that is terrifying. I am so glad it's on our side. So, I don't feel the best, but I also kind of want to get into, I kind of want to, that good part of me kind of wants to go kill, the, I, as I'm saying, I'm not feeling the best, I'm not saying we should do it now, <laughs> but... I feel like I want to kill the asshole that runs this place. I feel like it would make me feel better. And it would make everyone else feel better. Okay. She brought the British. Run! Oh, Run! Sorry. Oh, it automatically comes in. But hey, you've always throat. said it. The British come in. Run for the hills. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> I want you to grab his throat and feed it to the other one. Well... I, I agree see, with you. I just want to see them just devour themselves. That's what I want. And I, I want to be the one to do it. But I hurt a lot. Do I have any spells? We have good berries. I know, but do I have any spell? Uh, how much do good berries heal for? Just a point. One. Okay. I think you actually spent most of your spells last time. I did. I'm gonna eat ten of them. Yeah, you used two spells last time. I did. I'm currently looking because I keep track of all my spells on me. I yeah. still technically have one. <laughs> all right. You also have some hit dice because second wind is a thing. So, oh, right. Well, n not for me. I don't have second wind. That's a fighter thing. Oh. No, no, no. Everyone has the hit dice that they can use as a second wind type thing. They don't call it second wind, but yeah. Yep. What the fuck? In, it's, in it's fourth edition, they call it second wind. Yeah, it's um, it's to allow people to not get overrun too easily, but it also it encourages people to keep pushing forward instead of taking an an astronomic number of rests in the middle of dungeons. Which can be very frustrating yeah, so you for can, the DM. You guys can stop and basically hang out for like half an hour in game. Mm -hmm. And then recuperate some of your hit points. Oh, yeah, short rests. Right, okay. Yeah. That's fine. Are I we would going love to do that? Short rest. I'm I would love eating, to do I am eating my good berries because. It's the same. I. Ain't nobody got time for that. I only have four good berries, so I'm gonna up myself by four hit points. And I'm gonna eat the old ones, so I still have two left over for later. Is 
there a good? There must be a good berry mead. There has to be a good berry mead. Oh wait, no. It feels like there should be. No, it, there can't be a good berry mead because you cannot. Because they. Wait, do they just good berries that only last for twenty four hours because they're they're created magically. Right. So they cannot stick around for long enough to ferment in the first place. Damn. Nope. That sucks. Yeah, you got those from me. So yeah, they you you can't get those in the wild, to my knowledge. <sighs> so sad. Oh my god. Why do plot points weigh fifty five pounds? Wait, what? <laughs> in my inventory, it says plot points, and it says that weighs 55 pounds. <laughs> mm, yes, yes, this intangible thing that is brought down by the gods that only the gods can actually understand weigh you down by 55 pounds each. <laughs> what, I, I kind of... what are these? Uh, I think that was supposed to be something else. I don't remember what that is, but it's supposed to be something else of your stuff. <laughs> uh, oh, and I didn't use my channel divinity. I, in theory, could have used my, uh, my, uh, whatchamacallit, undead. Turn undead. Uh, you did use channel divinity, I thought. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh. I did. For my guided strike. Yeah. I did. Yep. Yeah, you just didn't mark it off, apparently. There we go. Okay. So I'm checking equipment because 55 pounds there's not a lot of things that could weigh that much. That must that might have been my chainmail. Oh, okay. I know what it was because the plot so so I have a resource called chainmail that I only have one in. And then I have plot points that weigh 55 pounds. That's what it is. Mm. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna just fix that. Uh, put it in your resource. Oh, yeah. Yeah, things, stuff. Things, places. Yeah. Got it. Fixed. Well, it's supposed to be three. Oh, I do have three, but, but somehow I had... No, no, no. There, I still have plot points, but somehow there was a resource called chain mail, and I had one. Yeah, I don't know why you did that, but that happened I at some point. So... Moving on. Gaming on. Oh, God damn it. I freaking hate my... You can see the scan line... Well, anyway, so what's going on with the mask? So, yeah, they're kind of gathering around and, and, you know, does this mean that we're free? Can, can we go to the mines? Is it safe? Yes. It's relatively, it's relatively safe. Uh, I cleared a way back up to the surface through the mines. But... I'm going to... Think we... I'm going to tell one of the melee kobolds and one of the archer kobolds to go along with the group of prisoners as they leave. Just to be on the safe side. Yeah. I'll send Mr. Kajol. Yeah. And one of the archers. Over my shoulder I shout to Celeste's character. <laughs> you need a potion? Mm, oh, do you yeah, got we one? Have potions. Yeah, I got four of them. Yeah, we all have like a bunch of potions. Uh, I don't have potions. Who has potions? I want one. Right. Or four. <laughs> I thought you had. Okay. We all have I guess four... I didn't put them on your sheet. Yeah, we all have four <laughs> common healing potions. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, common healing pot. It's like right in the middle of your list. Yeah. Oh, I see. There's eight of them. Yeah. There's eight. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> common healing pot. Okay, I understand now. All right, so I am going to do that, and that's 1d4 plus 4? 1d4 plus 1? 2d4 plus 2. Excellent. Two I have a bunch of them, but... 
I had to use them. Just to stay alive because I was in the front line holding it, holding it back the army. Hey. Hey, that's almost max. That's perfectly max for me. I am now back up to full. Yeah, you have seven common pots left. I do. Yeah. Um, okay. So, now basically, as soon as they get word, most of these guys are going to be trying to run away. That's fair. To get out of here, because they, they didn't like what happened to them, and they didn't like what they saw happening to others. That's fair. Yep. I understand. I'm going to also, tell we have them a giant, creepy-ass like, spider like with us. coalition of dead bodies over here. Yeah, I'm going to tell them to stay near the kobolds. I look at the... Cover. I look at the uh, spider and ask if I sit on its back. <laughs> I just, I just hiss. <laughs> I go over here. <laughs> All right. I, I think that is a no. So I don't know if your buddy is going to be going along with us, but I kind of want to go kill some fuckers. So what's that other with? one that's left? Hmm? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna ask about the, uh... Um... <clears throat> yeah, who's that one? The one you're moving around? That is a dragonborn. Um, Is it Tiberius Stormwind? No! <laughs> as much as I love Tiberius Stormwind... No. What color is yeah. it? They. Uh, oh, bronze. Yeah. Okay. Bronze. Male or female? It's a dragon. Let's roll die and find out. It's a dragon. Dragons have no gender. No, that's not true. Female. Uh, nice. Oh, off topic. I, those are fun to play with in the bedroom. Uh, and you call me the, the horny perverted one. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to look toward back, back and forth. These are the only two that aren't fleeing. But the rest of the group? Um, actually, one of those Dave things was supposed to be a happily. Mm. Who is going to uh, offer up a... Just a nice dagger. Excellent. That is mine. That should probably go to the roof. Yep, that's mine. That dagger is mine. I'll, I'll look toward the two that aren't running and be like, so, do you want a sword or do you want a bow? I have several. <laughs> Lucian, I'll probably want to uh, make sure that the rest make it to the surface safely. Mm. I give him a hug before None. he leaves. They left! Not yet. DM is never wrong. Um, I was getting things out of the way for making things easier on myself. Got it. Um. Either way, for your way up, would you want a sword or a bow? I have options. Because you seem sorely unarmed. You have perhaps a short sword. Um, I do. You, you, there you, you go. actually notice that as soon as you say it, you seem sorely unarmed, and you notice that his left hand is mechanical. <laughs> Buns! <laughs> <laughs> like, the moment those words come out of your mouth. I do not change what I said. <laughs> I'm <laughs> checking these bodies over it. here. He's gonna use that mechanical hand to grab the uh, sword in question. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And you? Yeah, I turn one of the dragonborn. Uh, uh, Lucian is going to, um, <clears throat> go up against an Etten. He has likely prepared himself. He seems to have been performing magical experiments down here. Ugh. Oh. Uh, fun Etten's yay. And they say magical that he's taking a break back there, and they're just talking for a moment. No, they're basically talking for a moment before Lucian goes on with the rest of the group. Okay. Um, John's character's going to be examining the bodies. Do I have to roll um, something? Investigation. 
I'm not the DM. Investigation, yeah. <laughs> this is what happens. This is precisely, when this is precisely what investigation is all about. Mm -hmm. Investigating things. Weird concept. <laughs> So these are all definitely ex-prisoners. They had their belongings stripped from them, and um, some of them were left with their clothing for their dignity's sake. <laughs> However, uh, some of them did not make quite get like that, and they've all been horribly maimed and killed in some fashion or another. Yeah, that's that's usually uh, the, uh, the result of. You know, that that's usually the cause for the effect of dead. Yeah. Well, I'm. Also... Yeah, but dead generally does not involve being ripped in half. True, but it is definitely a very good cause. Is it rip or is it cut? How do you just? That's definitely ripped. Yeah, that is definitely ripped. Because cut would be cleaner. Yeah. <laughs> I turn toward the dragonborn. Would you like a weapon? <laughs> Nerd. Did you Nerd. Do you NPCs exist? Uh, he did say that his internet was being very bipolar, so we don't know. Which... So, how about them Dodgers? No. No sports. Sports can die unless it's uh, women volleyball or swimming. So what I did, so what I... <laughs> was he almost back? I, feel like I don't know back. what that was. No. <clears throat> Mine. Oh, come on, Slice, really? <laughs> I had a feeling you are going to start that, but God. Well, we know what she wants. Now, come on. <laughs> okay. Well, what? She drew it, which means you probably... <laughs> you might want to clear the screen. So, my internet's still out and on my phone now. Okay. okay. <laughs> Which works because I have to check something in the kitchen, anyways. But yeah, um, <laughs> you have that uh, uh, dragonborn there. Yes. How do we delete our shit? Uh, he left the. Uh... You you missed some exciting things, nerd. <laughs> I'm sure I will find out later. <laughs> yes, yes, you will. Don't want to. It's not as good as mine. <laughs> We're having a drawing war. <laughs> the evidence oh. has been left. There's no more evidence. Oh my god. Yes, yeah, so I turned toward the dragonborn. <laughs> Sorry. No, you're not. So what kind of weapon do you want? How do you delete your shit? If you can spare it, I will take. I have a bow and oh. two swords. Excellent. I will give him a bow and two swords. Oh, which reminds me, it was the, the little tiny bit of loot off of those kobolds. Hey. <coughs> you obviously don't get anything off of the vaporized one. I mean, yeah. Oh, but oh, 
over here. There's still the rest of it. I must make art. Oh, come on. No, it's not art. <laughs> it is art. Oh, Everything my... is art. I would prefer to not have to click the must age restriction <laughs> on this video. <laughs> Please, thanks. Okay, thanks, bye. Okay, so. <laughs> it is horrible! <laughs> I didn't clear this shit! It, uh, the GM asked you. <laughs> oh, right. Wow, we have. Uh, well, there's the Puck Kassan. There's another banana on the screen and a pair of melons, too. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what those are. <laughs> Incredible. Alright, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what I've been trying to do. Uh, oh, you can draw a white box around the stuff that you made and delete it. You can do yes. what? You can delete your own stuff. How? Um, draw the select box around it using the select move cursor, and then you can just like it back and delete it. Just be careful not to delete your token in the process. Oh, crap. I can so move it, but I can't delete it. Before doing it. Oh yeah, you can. Oh, God damn it, that's a bad time. So, moving on. Moving on. Holy cow, Kevin, you're super distorted. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. No, I'll restart my phone. I'll be back in a bit then. You see nothing. Yep, yeah, it's all gone. You right, didn't so, see anything, so, watchers. Did anybody actually uh, catch what I said about the dragonborn? Uh, nope. He wanted two swords and a bow. There was more after that. But I did not hear it. Because you guys were goofing off. That's fair. <sighs> oh, that's part of it. Yeah. Well, I can't help that there's boots on the screen. Anyways, moving on. Anyways. What did the Dragonborn say? I apologize. Because some introduction things were happening, and then he decided to introduce himself. Mmm. Alright, uh, since we're no longer goofing off, could you reiterate, please? Please. We will behave. At least I will. Maybe. Out of character, we will behave. Yes. Say, my name is Huck Kassan. Nice to meet you. I wish it were under better circumstances. And I'm assuming you guys have a bunch of, sh of uh, ammunition for those bows. Yeah. No. I've been collecting them. And if you didn't have them before, then there's still those bodies all behind you. Exactly. We've already, we stripped them last time, I did. As a member, I went through and made sure I grabbed all the good shit for uh, selling. As much as you can with balls on your hands. Yeah. Airbags, well, I, I would think, would be especially difficult to carry. Yes. Well, I uh, got one of the, or two of the uh, little cobalts to help me. Mm. All right. Who's coming north with me? I'm going with you. Someone's going to watch your foot. <laughs> hey, that that's my wrong. job. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. You're oh. just the right height, dear. Exactly. I'm trying to remember what Lavere's deity's name is. Sekhmet. Sekhmet, okay. It's an Egyptian goddess of war and carnage. Oh, That's how you chose the real world, David. I did. Which actually, I... Works... Hmm? Which actually works for this universe. I know. Nice. I asked beforehand. Yeah. And uh, the Dragonborn will actually do a, a bow and honor to Sekhmet. Oh, well, we'll do like a warrior's grasp and like. <laughs> I'm probably going to get squished between the two towering females and just <laughs> Pretty be much, all yeah. like, I need an adult. <laughs> I got, ooh, I laugh. Reway with me. No. Honor to the lioness of war. No, I'll say that as a player, not a. Character. I know. 
I hope one day to see you on the battlefield. I suspect that it will be soon. <laughs> I don't know it's not female, but okay. It's, it's a, a dragon. dragon. <laughs> oh, I forgot that it's supposed to be female. Oh, yes. well. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't uh, change she's, much. She's been smoking a lot. <laughs> Pretty much. It would just make me do a slightly soccer voice. Yeah. That will Adrian, be soon. Adrian, do you watch Matt Colville? Yes. <laughs> I can sense it. <laughs> Moving on. All right, I'm, I'm going to try to switch back on devices. Okay. Yay! So now you can move all the tokens. Let us not draw decks this time. There we go. Which is why I, you're the worst, which is why I love you as a player. Yep. <laughs> hey, and we're still streaming. Awesome. Hey. I'm surprised because you never even left roll 20. Yeah, you did. Uh, yeah, I did once. Well, I didn't notice it. I will take point. I saw what I was doing, too. Yeah, if I go. <laughs> no. We'll take point together. Okay. Um, As what, is, uh, what is Racy again? Mm. It is not 10. Uh, I believe it's 16. Let me look up. My, my armor class is not correct on this. Give me a second. I don't feel like my character has asked enough questions yet. I'll change. I mean, one of her things is that she asks a lot of questions. It's 16. Okay. So, yeah, um, I'm, I'm definitely yeah. supposed to be up here with you. Yeah. I got one better than you. I'm mm. nearly butt-ass naked. Go, monks! Fucking monks. I can walk around in my nude while your swords can bounce off of my bare iron skin. Well, oh, the God, thing is, why? at least the 5th edition monks are not nearly as ridiculously broken as the 3.5 monks. It's true. Oh, my Good God. Good God, 3.5 monk. I've got better armor in my fighter form. Mm-hmm. I want milk. I think milk. the nation is better, too. Oh, right. Okay. So we're so, heading into the northern cavern. Which means I can run a bit. I'm gonna have all of our cobalt friends, except for my dude, uh, take the rear and look behind us at pretty much all times. <laughs> because paranoid. Oh, is um is Huck? Was that her name? Uh, Herc. Herc. Is is she following us into the into the den? It certainly looks that way. Excellent. Join us, sister. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna be dungeon crawling by the way. Okay. Nice. So I am going to be holding up the rear with a giant freaking spider with all of our little cobalt friends behind <laughs> us, and my dude in front of me. No. Well, I'll take the lead. Okay, yeah, so... Alright, I need to do some quick rolls. To be fair, to, to be perfectly honest, Levere is not looking for traps. It's a poor decision. Oh, and I think uh, Kaura is too slow. Oh, and I'm going to be on the ceiling. Oh. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, Kaura will look up at the spider. What species are you? <laughs> I'm sorry, what was that? She asks, what species, species are you? What species am I? Yeah. In character, she looks up at the giant spider on the ceiling and asks, 
What species are you? <laughs> Is there a spider version of a shrug? Spider shrug? Pretty much. <laughs> but, but, guess, well, yeah, remember, can't spiders can't talk. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah, this, uh, this suddenly dawns on her a little bit longer than it should have. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Dungeon crawling. Okay. So, so, uh, <laughs> Are you just gonna continue along as well? I'm watching for traps. Roll an investigation check. Ah, <laughs> uh, it has been the one thing I suck at. Yeah, the one who wanted to take point. Yeah. I said we take it together. Yeah, and I'm not looking for traps. Oh, wow, that those. Mm. Oh no. <laughs> oh, and also Quinta said you are better at searching for traps. Oh. Wait, I'm going to roll... And another one. <clears throat> I'm going to roll a thing so that I can ask if one of the... Oh, no, she's going to ask him. What are you doing? Oh, fuck. Can I roll my normal dice? <laughs> no. no. I have an idea. She asks... She asks the monk, what is he doing? Searching for traps, which you're supposed to be doing. Uh, she turns around to the cobalt posse. Hey, can you guys, like, go up ahead and disable any traps that are up there? Too smart, your brain hurts. <laughs> I mean, she's okay, so... dumb, but she's not ridiculously dumb. She has six intelligence! Yeah. Aver average is ten! Six intelligence does not mean you're a com you're a complete moron. Four intelligence means you're a complete moron. <laughs> Four intelligence it. is animal intelligence. Three and uh, two no, intelligence that's two. is okay. animal intelligence. Grog oh, has six intelligence. Sorry, moving on. Yeah. Um Roll deck God saves. Damn it. Okay. That is one thing I'm good with. What the? <laughs> oh, the, the, the first one was just a check. The second one's an actual save. God damn it. <laughs> so close. The dice Hi. hit me tonight. Oh, yeah. I think I only rolled dexterity checks. I don't think I actually rolled dexterity saves. Oh, shit. Yeah. No, I didn't. I should have had a plus six. Oh, god damn it. I should have had an extra. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh. <laughs> so I had six damage to Lavir, uh, seven to Orstick. Ouch. Ow. Yep. Uh, Kaura immediately turns around and grabs the, the, the kobold with the pointy spear. And then pushes him forward. Make that not a thing anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, which is a good thing you're pushing him forward because. Um, uh, okay, I'm going to need uh, Lavere and Orsic to roll athletics checks, and Orsic is actually at disadvantage. Small people are small. Ha ha! 18. Well, Here. if this doesn't work, I can shift him to my lion form. I have a climb speed. <clears throat> so, the dude you managed to climb out um, <laughs> before the doors reclose. Oh, God. 
What are you setting? You said trap. Well, that was enlightening. And just for appearances, I have a new nasty scar on my leg. Or at least okay. it will become a scar. Right now, yeah. it's just a gash. Oh, uh, see, a dwarf without a scar is no dwarf. It should be a soldier with no scar. I've met plenty of pansy dwarves. Well, I ain't no pansy dwarf. Okay. So, I'm gonna pipe in here and I'm gonna say that Celeste is very much correct. <laughs> I, I am uniquely qualified to say that. Yep. You're getting the death stare right now. <laughs> so. Uh, three of the kobolds are going to go forward, and um, me trying to make sure that this thing gets sealed. And the spider. Yeah, I want the ceiling so I can pass right over it. <laughs> <laughs> That's spider climb. Yeah. I look up at that spider, hold the move ball, and, and try to put a middle finger up, but I can't. <laughs> I think he knows. I think he knows. So you shake your fist. I'll, I'll, I'll stare up at the ceiling and be like, and that's not concerning at all. <laughs> or creepy. In any way. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to basically just throw three separate things for each of the kobolds, just because it's easy that way. They also know about... What? <laughs> what? 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 I think I just all in that twenties for the night. What? Uh, nope, nope, nope. That's it. Nope, nope, no, no, no. Nope. They in fact what? did it so well nope. that it is forever sealed. Nope. Or sorry, that they can open and close at will, and. They actually managed to take the mechanism out to take with them. Nope. What? What the fuck? <laughs> That's just what? Holy That's God. just a what? Come on. Here I am getting shitty and then the NPC's out of for for what? Math people, math people. What is the probability of that happening? I actually know this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me do the math. Two natural Put that in the comments. Hold on. Two natural 20s in a row is a 1 in 400 chance. Three is a 1 in 8,000. Yeah, like I said, slim the nun. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Anyways, yeah. Yeah. Holy shit. So after this happens, I look at the other kobolds, not giving a shit, and say, you guys are going first now. <laughs> You're finding all the damn traps. Good. I, for once, kind of agree. By the way, Lydia, you do actually see something uh, not very well buried in the ground up ahead. Mm -hmm. um, on the right lane? Oh, on the right lane. Give me I my did. thing. I should probably actually roll an investigation check now. Fourteen? Trying to get a token onto the... Oh, now I have a whole bunch more than I actually need. Okay. <laughs> oh, fuck. No. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm glad that I was on the side. <laughs> Yeah, by the way, you spotted those with just your perception. Damn. Because those were only a DC 15. Damn. That massive perception, though. Well, I guess we're going dynamite fishing in the night. <laughs> so where are those now? Oh, the, those are on the track. Those are pressure-sensitive bombs. Uh, I'm just gonna carefully step to the side and be like, my hands are not nimble enough for this. Don't look at me. I got iron balls for hands. Exactly. My hands oh, are not oh, oh, oh. enough for this. 
I see your character's just like on. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. Yeah, no, no, no. Just instantaneous. Oh, oh no. That's not better. Why are you taking them off? <laughs> ah! <laughs> not better. It's a nuclear version of TNT. Also not better. Well, the whole point was to denote the area in question that is trapped. <laughs> Lavere is just standing perfectly still if it hasn't already set off which it may have no if you, you it, it had already been set off we wouldn't be here right now i would be back into the pit hmm. or over okay. the pit so and under the pit yeah, and on the ceiling it's basically got a whole bunch of like sensitive pads and then a single bomb i assume you're going to send the bomb squad up ahead yes yeah Yep. Okay. I am going to be peering around the corner with my dude right behind me. Against the wall. Okay. Let's see what happens now. Oh god. If you roll three ones in a row, I'm quitting the stream. Okay. Only one one. Um, They're all working together, so there's that. Well, that's and good. And they live here. Yes, however, these are new. These were not here when they were going through before. Mm. This was know. apparently set up while they were setting up that ambush for you. Mm. Damn. Because the boss does not want you getting into him. Uh, what did you guys find over there? Yeah, but wasn't expecting us to have an army of um, trap makers on our side. Um, or perhaps. Uh, our forces have shields? significantly dwindled. <laughs> yes, this is true. I did that mainly to clear up the headache for. For, for nerd. Alright, so we're going to send uh, the recall bolts to the, uh, up to check for traps more, yes? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I rolled, I got a 21 perception. Mm. It's investigation, not perception, right? And I will um, follow... Perception can be used as a kind of impromptu, just kind of looking at it. Okay. Investigation is a lot more likely to get it, though. Yeah. And I follow behind him, making sure that after everything's sick. He's also on the ceiling, so there's that. Mm. <clears throat> I'm gonna have my dude be right there. Like behind this tiny little milk thing. Someone does not like you. I'm uh, not, you think? <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, so the kobolds will continue to move forward. And getting hit. God damn it. You know what? I just, as soon as this happens, I know exactly what I'm going to do. Paint me a picture, good DM. I have an idea. <laughs> so what happened to them? Oh no. Um, oh no. I'll have that for you in just a moment. I want to I'm finish getting chill. some of these visuals in place. I am going to give some inspiration dice to that last motherfucker. <laughs> Hopefully. Matt Blair. Ah, GM Blair. Come on. Oh yeah, what is the stats of the dagger that that one dude gave me? Um, it gives you a plus one to your attack. Okay. And that's it. That's for it's basically a masterwork, yeah. Got it. Except that probably be get away with masterwork. Dumb. And made all mithril weapons magic items. Ugh. Okay. Oh, what are we playing Prince of Persia now? <laughs> so yeah, spinning blades pop out and cut them in the pieces. Alright, I oh, immediately fuck. I immediately rush over, grab that last kobold by the scruff of his neck, and yank him back. Pin him up against the wall, get right in his face, and say, Look, I know that you don't want to die any more than any of us do. Alright, and I know that you can do this. I believe in you. Right, I can spray. <laughs> If only you were a bard. Apparently, in 5th edition, anyone can inspire anybody else. It's just bards can do it a lot easier than most other people. Oh shit, yeah, make, make a frickin- Would that be an intimidation check to try and inspire? No. <laughs> Persuasion. Oh, dang. I am persuading him that I believe in him. <laughs> I believe. Nope, it's a rock charisma check. Oh, oh the, shit. The, the floor out from the wall. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, one came out from the wall, the other one came out from the floor. Alright. Yeah, I'm going and, to try and inspire the fuck out of this guy. Guys, don't fail me now. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay. So, yeah, Kevin, so the one that came up from the floor went up high enough to make, make a nice little breeze up where you were before it kind of went back down to settle uh, on the ground again. <laughs> it was covered up with sand and stuff. Oh, God. To uh, hide it. But it is no longer hidden. So you can now go across safely. You uh, okay. However, if it gets set off again, you might be in trouble if you're to move okay. forward. Is anyone else going to try and pick up and, what I'm trying to put down? Not from the blade, but from the, uh... <clears throat> okay, so... Uh... No, go up more! There we go, okay. Oh, hey, I can use the keyboard to move the token. Yep, nice. Yeah, it has become very clear to you that whoever it is that was setting all this up had quite a bit of time spent out here trapping this hallway. Does anyone have a burrow speed? Nope. So we could, we could fix this. <laughs> if only I did. 
God damn. I mean, technically the druid could, but he doesn't, his wild shape. He, I, you, you won't get any, one. Right? Yeah. That you don't doesn't. have any mining equipment, and you don't have a pet bullet. Nope. I technically do have a mining pick. <laughs> you did give me one. I thought you looted it. Um, I did. But I'm not gonna, that's a lot of work. And it also doesn't make sense for kobolds to have a burrow speed. Yeah, no. The fastest way to break any player character is to give them a burrow speed. <laughs> yep. Regardless of what they are. They could literally be, they could be a little Oh no. Mouse. Hey! So the kobold is gonna spend a full, uh, uh, like 30 seconds sitting, looking for a trap there. He's like, given the, how the rest of this has been, there's got to be a trap there. <laughs> I'm going to continuously cheer him on. Mm -hmm. Come on, little man, you got it. I'm going to ask him his name. What's your name? No. So much no. Toby. Toby, I believe in you, Toby. I know you can do this, Toby. And apparently, and apparently Celeste is convinced that there are no more traps. <laughs> convinced. The, the, the last one back there, and, and the other, are, are, are your other friend back there who seemed to be getting rather close to is Willem. Oh. Hey, Willem. <laughs> References. I don't get it. I'm too dumb. If someone doesn't stop Lavere, she's gonna start like just striding forward. Okay, as soon as you, as soon as Lavere starts <laughs> to walk forward, I'm going to grab her by the back of her pants. And I thought yank. so. <laughs> no. I thought so. What? what? Let him do his thing. Oh. He's taking so long. There's nothing there. <laughs> as a giant blade pops out. He did. He did. a little stick forward. And a blade swings across the hallway. Does he get caught in it? No, he sends a little stick out. Oh. <laughs> actually, no. Yeah, he he's got actually a pretty decently long pole that he seemed to. That you don't know exactly know where he was storing it before, but it's taller than he is <laughs> by several degrees. Ten, ten foot pole. Ten foot poles are very useful. Ten foot poles are amazing. But sometimes you wouldn't even touch it with a ten foot pole. <laughs> I'm gonna tap my four legs together my four legs together like I'm clapping. <laughs> and look, good job. Nice. Oh, also, as a thief, I also have absolutely terrible investigation. I have a minus two to it. <laughs> wow. It's intelligence-based. <laughs> nice. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, you prick. How and then I just disappear. I just disappear. <laughs> You disappear into the works of the ceiling, which is appropriate, because as I recall, your variety of giant spider is a cave spider. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just vanished. No one's got any clue where I'm at now. <laughs> where did the spider go? I know that it sucks to have pe <coughs> characters with a, with really good oh, no. NPCs. Net twenty. But I don't know if that's on our side oh, or against us. That's on your side. Thank God. We've gotten several of those. I don't like the last three rolls. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna have Willem go here. Okay, and I need to set up the terrain ahead of you a little bit. <sighs> what? The DM isn't prepared? Yeah, it's 
standard operating procedure. Because the tracks will be disappearing into mud. Oh, fun. Giant jet. Okay. Mm. Oh, come on. All done with you. 10, 20, 30. Forty. Fifty. And can't really see that far. So that. We can't see it yet. Yeah. There we go. Oh no. The tracks have disappeared into a <clears throat> slurry of mud. Is that a pretty pricey special action? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, instead of treachering that, because I still do have an intelligence of 14. No. Yeah, 14. So. I am going to use my bonus action, and I'm going to transform into my lion form. And I'm going to uh, uh, climb along the side of the wall. Nice. Take me with you! <laughs> you can get on my back, I say, before I form, before I shift. And then I'm uh, going to... Alright. The... <clears throat> The... Hmm. There's a bear feed at the other end. Okay. One yeah, thing I'm that playing. I'm going to do. Oh, what is our uh, dragonborn friend doing? Is she catching up to us? I have um, a 40 foot climb speed, so I can climb as fast as I could walk earlier. Yeah. I was just forgetting to move him up. Okay. Um, <coughs> what is my insight? The thing is, not everyone will be able to climb on the walls. Nope. It's true. Then you have a barricade at the other end. Yep. It's also true. Is it is it floor, is it uh, ceiling the floor? Not quite. There's about a one foot gap up at the top. Then I'm going to peer into the one foot gap. Wait, hold on. What I'm going to do <laughs> is. I'm going to tell <coughs> Willem and the other dude whose name I, I've already forgotten. He's not important to me. Um, <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Toby! Yeah, Toby. Toby and, and Willem. <laughs> How did I remember? I was the only one who asked. I was barely paying attention. <laughs> I'm going to ask uh, I'm going to ask Toby and Willem if, uh, the, if this is essentially the end of the line, if they are on the other side of the barrier. That should be where Boss's room is, yes. Okay, then I tell both of them to stick together and get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Good, because this mud was not here before. Yeah, yeah. and uh, do be safe. I'd like to get to the surface and have you not be in pieces. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to get on the beer's back as she climbs across. Yeah, clinging to my fur. Yeah. And and as uh, as my claws essentially like try and find grips into the stone. It's probably it's probably, since it's since it's stone. It's probably the mud for the people that yeah. climb. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah, it's probably not nearly as graceful of a climb. As the spider. No. But, but it does work. Yep. Um, but uh, Coward's going to like grab onto the fur and go, ooh, for soft. 
<clears throat> and just like nuzzle into the back of Levere's head. You you hear like like uh because I can't really talk in this form, but but like kind of like low rumble is a, like agreement. <laughs> Well, I look at this so, mud and I just go, crap. <laughs> Not well, nearly as cool. Maybe the spider so, can take you across. Who wants the ten foot pole? We have a dragonborn. I take the ten foot pole. That's smart. But why would you take the ten foot pole? You're climbing on the wall. I take the ten foot pole because I'm the smallest one of the group. Bear. And it's not any of you guys. Also, you don't have hands, and neither does the spider. Okay. And the lion so... doesn't have her claws. <laughs> so, Kevin, being on the ceiling, you're going to have no problem with this, especially since you're actually a spider, which can climb most surfaces. Yeah, I will happily make an athletics check. Uh, Livia is definitely going to have to make uh, two athletics checks. Fair. Why? Oh. Why? Uh, all right. I am going to immediately make a dexterity to save. Uh, how? Why? <laughs> and I'm going to attempt a strength check. To keep a hold of me or keep a hold of the wall? Oh, that's not going to happen. <laughs> He's got the ten foot pole. He can save himself. Well, I was going to try and be the heroic one to try and reach out and grab onto Louvier, but no, that's not happening. Well, to the lion? Yeah. To the literal lion. To the literal lion. <laughs> My character just sees all this stuff. So he's no way across and just sits there and watches them. As I just scramble, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Mm. There we go. And the cobalt's in there. Mm. I made a dexterity save to not go into the drink. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how are you going to try to accomplish this? Uh... Okay. Hold on. I need to... I need to... I mean, my. Uh, I need a description. My instantaneous I'm reaction. I'm not. Oh, go ahead. My instantaneous reaction is to try to either jump or <clears throat> cling to the wall. Yeah, no, that's exactly what she would do. Yeah, she's gonna jump okay. off and go straight over to the most. So roll for athletics instead of your strength. <clears throat> okay. Eh, that's still a minus two. Ah, oh, okay. Well, that's so you grab onto the wall, and then it just kind of crumbles, and you fall into the drink anyways. God damn it. Uh, I'm going to be a smart one, look at the spider, and ask, uh, time sir, can you help me across this, please? Now, the, the question for that is whether or not my guy can even whether or not, as in spider form, I can even maintain my grip on the ceiling while supporting the dwarf's weight. Normally, a medium-sized creature can ride on a large-sized creature. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I'll take the dwarf across. Then. I, I move back to here. Okay. And I go down onto the wall. I, I hop on and try to cling on as best as I can. <laughs> With your leg. I hold on one of his legs that way, uh, one of his legs, since that way I can wrap my, my legs and arms around that thing and bear hug that leg. Not to mention that way when he's on the ceiling, you'll actually be like sitting on his belly. Yeah. 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 And then I'm going to move over to here so he can look over, through over the barricade. Okay. What do I, what do I see over there? 
I'll get to that in just a moment. Um, so the Dragonborn is going to go. Uh, yeah, Dragonborn's going to go in, just grab the kobold and just yank her out. Thank you. I love you. And the 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 mud is going up to the Dragonborn's chest. Hmm. Is she on the ground? Is like she's standing in the mud. Yeah, she she's just wading into the mud and just pulls you out. Oh. Well, then I cling on to her shoulders. Zero fucks given! <laughs> well, the only reason my character didn't go in is they didn't know how deep it was. Yeah, and if it's up to the Dragonborn's chest, that, that's kind of an indication. Yeah. Well, yeah. Not that deep. But since someone did it, uh, took the 10-foot pole without, t- uh, you know, didn't stick it in the mud and test it... Well, no, I mean, honestly, a dwarf... A dwarf would have been engulfed if it goes up to a Dragonborn's chest. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> also, my character has six intelligence. That would have been the wow. smart thing to do. <laughs> my character is smarter than you. So is mine. That doesn't mean that she always makes smart decisions. And why did no one suggest to stick the pole in the mud? Well, because I didn't think about it. You guys, you guys are already on the wall going? <laughs> so, so I will shift back to my hybrid form and be like, oh, fuck. Oh, oh god damn it, it's getting to my fur. There you go. Okay. So, getting back over to the dwarf. Um, I'm going to surfing. ride on dragon's born, on the dragonborn's shoulders like a little kid <laughs> on their dad. You know? Because that looks adorable wow. in my head. Oh my god. And the funny part is, if you were bronze, you will look like the Dragonborn's child. Exactly. I think I did declare her as black, though. Yeah, yeah, I do. Hmm. That way you can hide in the shadows. Yep. Precisely my point. I look back over my shoulder and say, Hey, guys! Actually, before you get a chance for that, there's going to be some archery fire. No, uh, yeah. But hey, more likely it'll hit... Yeah. See, the funny part is, more likely it'll hit the uh, spider before it hits me, since I'm uh, technically on top of it, even though it's on the ceiling. <laughs> it's on the ceiling, and you're on top of it, and you're in the area where you're looking through to see through the gap. Yeah. Oh, uh, so they're pointing at me. Shit. Yes. But you do have Assuming cover. Assuming they can shoot through an arrow through that one foot wide slit. Yeah, you do have cover. Yeah, they do get disadvantage. This. Mm. Uh, Definitely this. Yes. Ouch! No, 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 that's disadvantage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, be thankful for that disadvantage and the fact that you have that barricade in the way. Uh, 17 is dead on my armor, so I'm not sure if it hits or not. <laughs> but that 17 is the only possible that might hit me. Because my armor is... Right when it attack equals your armor rating it hit, correct? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah, it's yep, the DC to get hit, essentially. Yeah. <laughs> so, damage, not that extra two. Just oh. ten? Just, Just ten. ten. Oh. But still. Ow. I look over and I, always, I tell the. I look at the spider and go, I think after this, we'll need a week of recovery. Don't you have po- no, I go, wait, what happened? <laughs> they <laughs> got archers! <laughs> you don't oh, say. Uh, Hi. I have a quick question. Yeah. Lavinia, are you going to try to get back up onto the walls again? No, she'll just slog through along the side. <clears throat> Using the sure? wall for balance, yes. Oh, 
Uh oh, when what the GM asks. When the GM asks, are you sure? Yep. Your answer is no. Bye bye, lion lady. I'm examining the damage yet. Yeah. Oh. We're Please. asking for a death save. I forgot nothing. Yeah, you don't figure out shit. It's made out of wood. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm pretty sure I could have figured that out. Let's see. Um. Okay. I I'm gonna give Celeste yep. a save for this. That's. Um. No, actually, I think it's a wisdom save. Although I could be wrong. I'm going to double check. That would be excellent. Yes, please. <laughs> it's a trap. After a trap. I'm kind of surprised that you. Yeah. I, I made certain to go across the ceiling. That's why I was going across the ceiling, because I figured there'd be stuff scattered under the mud. 16? So, they don't actually have that spell in here anymore. That was so close. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like Unless it's thing. under stone? <laughs> Yeah, they no longer have that spell in the book. So, yeah, um, I'll, I'll just make it be a wisdom save, and I guess that'll be wisdom? enough. Okay. Um, Tower does not have to do one because she's high enough up. Okay. What about the dragon one? Um, uh... Dragonborn doesn't make it. Okay. Oof. What happens? So, uh, that, uh, the last, the bottom, like, foot or so of the mud that you're standing in mm -hmm. turns to stone. Oh, God. Shit. The Dragonborn is stuck. Oh. I'll just spell um, you later. <laughs> I'll just spell it later. <laughs> uh, so Celeste, uh, uh, make a insight check, please. Okay. God damn it! I feel like we kind of twenty needed, fucking three. I feel like we kind of needed that dragonborn. Same. Hey, not die. This is a uh, uh, an old druid trap. And it's gonna keep going up with the stone up, up the entire thing of mud. Oh. Basically, a new another casting of that, or another thing activating that, turning the mud into stone is gonna happen each round. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is there a so, strength? Like, like, could I, could I, in theory, pull out the dragonborn with a high enough strength check? You could at this point. Okay. At that point, you also risk on the two of you getting stuck again. Yeah. Your wisdom is really, really good. Mine is. So, I'm going to go right here. I'm going to try and see if I can get that dragonborn out. Okay. Uh, uh, roll Strength a... save or check? Athletics, if it's higher. Uh... Is a... motherfucker. <laughs> you have plot points. Use one. Yes, I will. I will use a plot point. So, how will you describe what you're doing then? Um, I'm gonna freaking. 
Yeah, no, for that I'm division, just... I'm going to actually want descriptions with these plot point expenditures. Okay. Describe to me uh, how you're redoubling your efforts. Yes, 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 yes. So, so what she's going to do is, is uh, instead of just trying to pull him out, she's okay. going to essentially reach down into the mud and try and pull out from the base. I, Acceptable? Okay. I am going to reach down and pull on her shoulders. Like, I'm trying to pull her out, but it's not going to work because I'm sitting on her shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm helping. Is that in part disadvantage? <laughs> it does nothing. Alright, go ahead and roll. Or re-roll. Yes. Oh, Much see. better. Holy fuck. <laughs> you successfully managed to get the Dragonborn out of the stone for the moment. But the next layer is going to be at two feet. Goddamn. Okay, so now I'm stepping the fuck out. Yeah, because it was and a now, Underneath me is still mud, correct, Adrian? Yeah. Oh, yes, because there's still like five feet of mud. Or no, there's, there's sorry, that's not five feet. There's still uh, three feet of mud. Okay. I'm going to see if my wisdom score is going to be high enough in order for me to do an insight check. To see if I'm gonna come up with. Uh... I mean, obviously, I By couldn't way, do anything on this round, but. Um, Rax, your thing amused me, which is why I rolled that D8 of inspiration. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Awesome. So. Alright. So I uh, think that that's my round. Uh, However. Oh wait, no. I think my my character's initial instinct is going to be that if we go back the safe way, we can just wait until the entire all of the mud turns to stone. We can just simply walk across. Although she hasn't thought that. Unless far it's ahead. triggered by unless it's triggered by people being in it. You can roll an insight. Or whatever it takes for you I to I already did! Enough. Technically, wouldn't it be a religion or an arcane or a nature? Uh, nature or uh, religion in your case. Funny enough, they're the same. Hmm. No. I. I know nothing. I am okay. going to spend a, a plot point by um, by saying it out loud. And then when Lavier shakes her head, Tower's going to be like, no, 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 it, it, it totally work. Trust me, it'll totally work. <laughs> Causing you to rethink. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're going to spend a plot point on me? Yes. Yes, that's what he's... Okay. Yeah. Oh, come Not on. better! Welcome to Fight, <sighs> folks, where everyone rolls badly. Um, <laughs> Except God for that one time nerd. where we got three natural 20s in a row. God damn it, nerd, you used up all of our luck. <laughs> I, I'm going to see if the spider can figure it out. So what would that be? In? Well, the spider what is a druid. This is true. Uh, it'd be a nature check, and you'll get advantage. There we go. <laughs> Much better. I see you moving around tables, Adrian. I, I added a table. There's a difference. Oh, um, <laughs> so, it is in fact triggered by people being in it. I thought so. However, how will the spider communicate this to the rest of the party? <laughs> well, you shoot, the, you shoot the webs and then pull them up and stick them to the roof. I, um, I point at the mud, I point at a person, um, and then I make, I make the, um, I, I lift up my claw. 
a little ways. Um, I point at the person, I point at the ground, and I um, and then um, and then I um, I place my butt at uh, my uh, my that leg thing at the at the original. Leave it there. Basically, you mud, it rises. You ground, it stays. Insight. I understand. You read to and understand this interpreted dance. <laughs> I kind of understand. Not as much. Oh, well, apparently our deal um, won't work. <clears throat> and I need to, um, I'm going to try to push the talk on it. Put myself on my head for getting low battery. That might be why we're getting the distortion. Yeah, probably. Lemma or Uzu. You talking to me? No, I was talking about lemon candies. Mother. Mm -hmm. Candy. <laughs> Why are you so tortured? I have butterscotch candy. They're not as good as the Japanese lemon candies. Uh, the Japanese gummies. Well, that's better when you're not allergic to it. <laughs> I don't think you actually are allergic to these, but... They have a lot of ingredients I have never seen before. And when I do not recognize any ingredients, I stick away from it. Yeah. Anyways, we were dealing with a puzzle. You were. Slash oh. trap. Slash uh, combat. is going to pull out her 10-foot pole and say, I have a stick! And oh, John actually did have a pretty decent idea there. Which was? Doesn't matter, everyone over talked me. Well, apologies. So what was your idea? The spider uses, uh, spits spider web that you, uh, through his ass and attaches you to the ceiling. Oh, yeah. Essentially right. creating like like a, like a uh, jungle vine across. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I could do that. <laughs> Take some time to spin a web. Okay. So, uh, I am actually going to need uh, Levere and the Dragonborn to make another Wisdom check. Wisdom save, yeah. Mm. Nice. Well, now she's going to pull you out of the stone. Am <laughs> uh, oh, no. I stuck in the stone? You are, in fact, stuck in the stone. <laughs> However... Um... But I would only be stuck in one foot of the stone because I was walking on top of the previous stone that had already solidified. Correct? Correct. Excellent. Do you want to assist the dragonborn in getting you out? Well, yes, I do. Okay, we'll see how necessary it is. I hey. don't think it is. <laughs> We now have a tertiary girlfriend. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> the talls and smalls. <laughs> the talls and smalls and they all have claws. Yes, they do. Oh my god. 
this is turning out to be way more entertaining than any of us ever could have have, have imagined. How much of the dirt has been solidified? Two feet. Yes, yeah, but how much feet is there total? Uh, there is now only two feet left. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh shit, if you can survive four more rounds, then the whole thing will solidify to stop. <laughs> Just simply waltz across. However, you now have a web date that you can use to get out. So. Excellent. Athletics? Uh, not even. Excellent. So, you guys will be able to climb out, and, and there's now lots of web stuff that you guys can use. It's a little mm -hmm. sticky for comfort. It's actually rather dry, surprisingly. Oh, wow. Yep. Because spiders can make both. Yep. That's cool. Yeah, in real life, they can choose. That's real cool. I won't lie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this, the small, this small, wasn't small the sticky stuff they fired at that one enemy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so I would like to try, and the monk, if you would be so kind as to help me, as to try and make a strength check to try and burst this freaking barricade down. You want me to do a strength chest? Yes. Or an attack. I'll do an. I'll just punch it. Okay. Right? We could do that, Adrian? Is that yep. okay? Okay, cool. 21 good enough for you? Damn. <laughs> Lavier, how do you want to try to take Brett down this barricade? Mm, I think we're going to attack. Give me a second. Well. I'm helping. <laughs> <laughs> the spider will rock its body into it. <laughs> Face first, apparently. I'm help. Wow, well, I'm helping. <laughs> I'm helping. <laughs> I'm helping. I did something. It's not official. Yeah. So, like, oh, did we break down the barricade? Yeah, Max does an amazing impersonation. You managed to bust in some of the barricade. God damn it. Uh, Someone else help me. Enough, enough for you guys to get through. Excellent. I am going to ask... Is there... Are we rolling initiative now? I am immediately going to ask the spider to make me a little hammock so that I can be a perch so I can snipe the hell out of these motherfuckers. I'm going to pelt them with arrows <clears throat> at a distance. <laughs> and behind okay. cover. She's dumb, but she's not in but she's not a complete idiot. Uh, Wisdom versus you're intelligence. Gonna, you're actually gonna have to make an intelligence check for this one. <laughs> Play to the my, top of your my, intelligence. Oh wait, is there a small? Is no, I am spending a plot point. There is a small nook in the ceiling that I can crawl myself into because that is one of my personality traits. Uh, uh, <laughs> I like to squeeze into small places where no one else can get to me. And. <laughs> Throw acrobatics, damn you. <laughs> you stop using bastard. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, my bonus actually can't drink one of my potions. Uh, as long as you've been keeping it on your belt, yeah. Well, I, I had no else, where else to put it, because remember, I left all my other normal shit upstairs. Oh, wait, there's also the issue of 
having balls for hands. Well, it has been a problem. I look over at Lear and just got my eyes. Can you help me, please? I need one of these. It's on my turn. <laughs> my man. So, um... Oh, wait, are, are we rolling initiative? We never rolled initiative. It's true, we haven't. Because I was going to do that, like, right now. <laughs> Excellent. All right. So, am I able to get into... I'm able to get into... Hey! Yes. Yeah, well, that goes my initiative. 16! Oh, no, I might have gotten the best initiative. That's concerning. <laughs> okay. I still have to roll. 16. And Orsic, what have got? Seven of them. Um, wow, another low one. Another two for initiative. Oh no, it might actually be the highest. I don't think I've gotten above a seven for initiative yet. Okay. And the initiative so for the So, I need to roll a couple of initiatives. No. Oh, god damn it. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> that could, in theory, be for the Dragonborn. It's not, but it could. Okay. And oh, they actually have a minus two initiative. You guys might have some luck. And unfortunately, <laughs> it's about eleven thirty, so I'm and I'm going to be going at midnight, so in half an hour. So we may need to leave this combat for next time, unless you want to NPC my character through it. It's possible, or I might end up ending it in the middle of the combat. I think we should. Roll twenty. I can do that. Yeah, I, but I think it would be better if we start the next session with combat rather than I concur. End this session halfway through combat. <laughs> I concur. Okay. So I guess we. I, I think I have an episode for this one. Mm. Ooh. Traps and cobble go my. <laughs> oh no. And then in the, the small and tall go, and where the, the heck did that spider thing. go? <laughs> small and tall. Yeah. <clears throat> because I rolled another stealth check right at the end there, right before the initiative, and I got a total of 23. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. So I may not be. Go I may be going near the end of the initiative order, but they don't know where the heck I'm at. Oh yeah, because you completely disappeared. <laughs> you are every house spider. Very big house spider. No, no. You look at it once, and then you turn, and then you look at it again, and it's gone. <laughs> You, you look at it, you look at a spider, you turn around, you look back, where the hell's the spider? Exactly. Ta-da! We now have a combat initiative order for next time. Excellent. And it starts with the bad guys. Joy of joys. <laughs> So, does anyone want to have any uh, uh, closing statements? Uh, this I'm going to kiss my ass goodbye. <laughs> this session has been most It's been most painful. Poor Cobalt, my man. Realized, Poor Cobalt. I didn't realize how, how nice it would be to be able to walk up, to have an upside down, being able to walk on the ceiling. Yep. Spider climb's awesome. Mm -hmm. I have a dream. 
I have Druid in my in my campaign that I run uh, on Tuesdays, and and like she has Spider Climb and just, she can do some ridiculous shit with it, man. <laughs> spider Climb plus spells equals bad news. Nice. <laughs> All right, so I want to close up my live stream real quick, and then I want to talk okay. to you guys about right after that. So. All right. Cool. Okay. Um. Till next time, be awesome to each other. A dog oh, killed each other. And with that good, and with that one, my friends, I am out. Yeah. Laters. Yeah, also.